Rise and shine guys, rise and shine. As you can see, been staying on my hydration schedule. So insane amount of jugs of water here that are empty. We're gonna go refill these in a bit. However, you're probably wondering, dude, what the hell is on your lip? And it's a cold sore guys, I got a cold sore. I usually get them like once to two times if worst comes to worst the year. A year and uh, they're the worst like they take about a week and a half to heal and they just kind of look disgusting They give you like this off look so hopefully you guys do not mind I promise hopefully by next video it should be like almost 100% healed anyway guys we're about to go hiking you know switch up the scenery a bit and it's a little fresh outside so I might go switch from shorts into some pants because I'm gonna freeze my legs off out here. They're small as it is. I don't want them to get any smaller. Whoa, dude. It's really bright out here. I seem to put my hand like right here. All right, that looks better, right? Looks dumb, but my face looks better. Okay, so this, this like cold sore that I get, the, a funny thing about it, actually every time I get one, one of my friends from back home gets it at the exact same time as me. So it's kind of weird how that works out. Like if I get mine, he'll get his, or if he gets his, I'll get mine. And it's like one time, maybe twice a year, like I said. Anyway, we just showed up to my buddy Simon's house. We're about to get hit this. Uh, I'm not even too sure we're gonna go hiking. I don't even know the place. I've never been out there. So let's go check it out. Hi. Yeah, I swear to God, it's going. You swear. Yeah, look. What's going on guys? So we're here with my, my buddy Simons. He has his GoPro 5. Check that out. It's so sweet. Thanks can, GoPro. Can, can, Shout out GoPro. Can you say like to stop recording or not? GoPro stop recording. Dude. Oh my god. He could like it's voice activated. It's super sick. But we're at what is this called again? Gold Camp Road. Gold Camp Road and doing some hiking. Hell yeah. So check out. This is just a view from right here. We're still going to head out to the photo. top. And um Oh my god, I'm just amazed <laughs> by this GoPro. Just voice activated, super sick. Let me let me know if you guys think I should get one. So like comment down below. I feel like it'd be like a super like upgrade to the channel, it'd like change the whole game. Anyway, we'll see you guys at the top and uh You're my music, but you tear me to pieces. So where does it come from? Scene that keeps playing on repeat ignores the rule of thumb. Oh, where does it come from? Oh. All right, guys. So we just made it like three quarters of the way up, and we're like ten minutes out, according to Simon. But check out the view, like behind me. I, it's like breathtaking right now. You can see everything from up here, like the city, houses. What do you guys think about this? Like, who would it? want to live here, you know what I mean? Go on, keep going, climb, grab that rock. When you're up, you're up. Dude! Oh my gosh. This is the place to be. And here, got Cheyenne Mountain Air Force Base up there. Is that big, right? Amazing. Damn. This is the best view you're gonna get, man. You think, you think this is the best view in Colorado? Yeah, well, besides oh, going to Vail, Breck, they got some 14ers up there. When you get up there, that's a whole different view. But here, you can't beat 6,000 feet up. 10,000? See, see what Damn. the old Snapchat says where we're yeah. at. <laughs> Check out that little lake out there, guys. I'm not too sure if you guys can see it, but there it is. It looks pretty nice from this top view. Oh, take a picture of me. Oh my gosh, dude, we're in a, we're in a freaking spaceship, dude. We're in a freaking aliens right here. Nah, I'm messing with you guys. Not a car wash. You gotta take care of the girl who takes care of you, and the girl that takes care of me in my beautiful truck. So. Gotta keep her clean, keep her happy. After this, we're gonna head to Walmart. We go there so much, and I excessively go to Walmart. I'm not gonna take you guys inside. I'll just show you what I get when we get back to the dorm. 
So uh, let's enjoy the car wash, relax, let her get her tires done, and we'll see you guys later. All right, so I just showed up to the dorms, guys, and I really do not want to make 10 trips out here. So you think I could make all this fit into my backpack? One trip. Let's see, let's see how we're gonna do it. We're gonna manage it. So I have my backpack right here, two gallons on this side in the back. I put the case of carbonated water inside, another two gallons on this side. I got these bags and I got that five gallon jug. So I'm gonna put this camera down. We're gonna walk in there because I gotta carry that five gallon jug. So let's see if I could accomplish this one trip of groceries. We made it. We were able to make it, dude. Look at this. It's time for the gym. I knew if I wasn't gonna get off my butt right now that I wasn't gonna go. I'm feeling a little tired from the hike. Like literally hiking, it takes a toll on you, man. Like it'll put, it'll just make you freaking drain, dude. And then I haven't eaten anything all day. I've still been fasting. I had like a couple of sugar-free jellos, which are like five calories, which is, I feel good. I don't want to eat anything too heavy before the gym, but I want to get this gym session in. So I want to tell you guys about this new pre-workout I got. It's called Mesomorph. Got it in the mail recently, and uh, I only take about half a scoop because I did one scoop, and it was crazy. And that's because I'm used to taking pre-workout quite a bit, and I was just like, well, like this is advanced. Like if you guys really, really want to try this, I'll link it down below where I bought it from. But I highly suggest if you're a beginner or if you're not used to like stimulants in your pre-workout, do not buy it because like this isn't for like advanced people who have dealt with tons of pre-workouts. And then basically it came with this for free, Hydromax. Basically that's, a va it'll make you vascular in the gym, make you look vascular. Um, it has a glycerol in there, glycerol, glycerol, same thing, right? And uh, basically, like I said, makes you vascular, makes you look pumped in the gym. And it really, like I'm not joking, it makes you feel full. Like it just pumps a lot of like blood into your muscles and it fills them out really nice. So um, I'm gonna take this little stack right here, head to the gym, get some energy in me, and then we'll get this workout in. So I'll show you guys what we're working with. All right guys, so what I'm gonna talk to you guys today about is like a huge mistake people do whenever they're working out. So one of the big, main like I guess you could say mistakes I see people people doing on the cable rows so one they do not retract their, sca their scapula and they just go straight into the movement two they come too far forward and let all the tension come out of their back and then three they do not keep their chest up high you know what I mean that's gonna really put a lot of emphasis on your back so what you're gonna want to do step one check your scapula basically Retract your shoulder blades if you do not know where your scapula is. Just try to get your your shoulder shoulder blades to touch. Then you're gonna come forward, grab it, right? Keep your chest high. That's what you want to do. Don't come all the way in. Keep your chest up high. Come back, twist, bam. Come forward, bam. One of the movements I see hardly people do when it comes down to biceps is a reverse curl. I feel like many people neglect that movement, but if you really want to build that outer head of your bicep, you're gonna have to do reverse curls. And one thing, a huge tip that I have, is pretend you have like a walnut right here, like any kind of nut, and just pretend you're just squeezing right here and it'll really build that outer head of your bicep. So whenever you're just standing there, the outer head is the head that's gonna show when you're just standing, you know what I mean? So let me give you guys, uh, I guess you can see, an example of what I mean. So you want to do, have, have the reverse grip until you feel comfortable, right? Pretend, like I said, there's a walnut in between your elbow and your bicep. You're going to come back, you're just going to squeeze at the top. Flex your tricep, come back, squeeze. Flex your tricep, come to the top. On bicep curls, especially seated, what you want to do is be at a neutral grip. What I mean neutral grip is stay like this. And in order to get a greater range of motion, you're gonna come out and do a supinated movement with your pinky slightly pointed towards the outside of your bicep to get that greater range of motion and really feel the tension on the outer and inner side of the bicep. So, for example, we're gonna start off with the neutral grip, come down right here, make sure your tricep is nice and flexed to get the full extension of the bicep. So you're gonna come back, and then you're gonna do a supinated motion outside of the pinky, a slight twist. So, what I mean by this is out. Alright 
right guys, so I was doing some work. I got kind of busy and then I started talking on the phone for a little bit with my mom. So I hope you guys can understand. It's kind of late right now, so I'm just gonna carry this video on till tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So this stuff has been clearing up my face so, so great. This uh, acne facial cleanser. Then I use this special cucumber lotion. And then this moisturizer, but the magical thing are these two. It's a drying mask and then a drying cream. My face has been getting so much like clear, like it's not where I want it right now, but like remember when all this used to be super red. Getting a little gusty out here. So uh, what I want to tell you guys is I'm gonna end this video right here. This is a very awkward spot because it's kind of like I woke up and then I'm about to end the video. Crazy, right? So the reason I'm ending it is because I'm gonna start a full day of eating as of today. So the next video will be a full day of eating because I know how much you guys enjoy watching me put food in this mouth. So hopefully by the time you see the next video, this freaking thing that's making me look kind of like a unicorn is gone on my lip. Which I highly doubt because it's not gonna go away like in two hours. <sighs> Man, if I saw one thing, it's another. So anyways, enough rambling. I'm gonna go inside. Get this full day of eat eating video going. So until next time, see you guys in the next one. How could I make sense when I got me?